folks, welcome to ASC Studio. Today I'm going to show you how to get 90 degree corners using a roto trimmer. These guys right here. Here's the roto trimmer that I like to use. Uh, you could find these at basically any Kinko's. Some UPS stores might have it. Or if you want, you could actually take the time or take the money, I guess you could say, and go out and buy one yourself. This particular model, the Rota trim, uh, runs around $250. Whenever I cut an image using this tool, I rarely rely on this straight edge right here. A lot of people like to butt their image up to this and then, then make their cuts. Um, I rarely rely on this. I always like to use the grid. Okay, so you'll see me basically aligning my photo here today with the grid. I have a cool shot of one of my favorite surfers, Taylor Knox here. And I want to basically crop it down to make it a little bit smaller so that it could fit on an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is this. Notice this jagged edge here. I'm going to cut that edge off first. So what you do is, is you'll see there's this little plastic kind of protective guard right here. You want to lift that up, slide it underneath. And basically if you look over the edge here, you'll notice anything that falls off this metal edge is going to get cut off. So I push it until I see right around where my photo is just starting to fall off that metal edge. And then the next thing I'm going to do is look over here. And like I mentioned before, I rarely use this. I always like to use the grid. And I set my paper right along the edge of one of these lines. Now some of these lines are printed thicker than others, so make sure the thickness of this line that's printed is pretty much the same thickness all the way through. You want to make sure it's butted up right against it. Once I feel like it's ready to go, I'll make my cut. Now this roto trimmer cuts both ways, so I'll leave the blade over here. Then I flip it, turn it. Now being that this was the last edge that I cut, I'm going to use this edge as the edge that I'll align to the grid. So I'll push it through, get it nice, pull it off so I don't, I can see it off the edge of the metal. And I'm going to butt this up to my next little line. Make it nice and even. Take your time, folks. That's the key to doing this. You can't be in a rush when you're doing the presentation part of a project. Don't go fast. Oh, it's not off the edge yet. Let me push it off. You can see that I'm going slow. And make my cut. That's the last edge that I cut. I'm going to spin and turn it. I'm going to align that edge now to the grid. Now, you got to be careful and you don't want to cut off the good parts of your photo, right? So I'm making sure the big spray that he's throwing here is still on the page. Make that cut. Spin and turn it. Being that, that was the last edge that I cut, I'm going to push that back in, align that here, and that looks good. Same thickness of the black line going along the edge. Oh, not quite off the edge over here. Let me pull that through. You know, take a deep breath, make your cut. Voila! Now, just to make sure all the corners are square and I cut my even, my image even. I'm going to line it up to the grid here and make sure that there's a nice 90 degree cut there. And I'm going to check this edge here. Make sure there's a 90 degree corner here. Looks good. And then you could do the other side. And voila. There you go. That's how you get a perfectly cut image with 90 degree corners all the way around using a roto trimmer. Thanks for checking it out.